best work, if you can get it, is about a ritzy boy who grew up with lots of money, didn't really have to work for anything, and he falls in love with a bootlegger, and I'll let you find out what happens at the end, but it's hilarious. In terms of uh, production value, it, the production team is putting together a beautiful set. There are a lot of people that are involved that are working professionally in the city, so for the students to be working with them has been really exciting. It's 1920s New York, so everybody is trying to hide the fact that they're drinking, and I got to make sure if they're pretending to be drunk that they're not unsafe with it, so I got to make sure that if they slam a door, the door is not going to fall over, that it's going to hold up. And the costumes are amazing because they're very over the top and the 1920s were great for their like very like flowy and very strategic outfits. This is the first time I've ever worked on a scale of production before. It's huge. <laughs> There's a lot going on. The quality of work in our shows is amazing. In our first year, our students come in sometimes with very little technical experience. They may have never seen a sewing machine or actually held a hammer, but they're, they're really exposed in a jack-of-all-trades way to all of the elements of production. Through that time, the idea is they will find what they're interested in so that in second year, they can begin to focus, they can take courses that are more selective, and they can apply to lead those departments. So you go from being a worker to a manager, which is, which is quite tricky because all of a sudden you're actually in charge of budgets and you're in charge of students who are your peers and it's a different ball of wax. You're very fortunate to be able to do this because you're working with professionals. Your monitors and the people you're working with are professionals and they are teaching you how to be a professional in a school setting where you, if you make mistakes, you're allowed to make mistakes because it's school but it also allows you to work at a certain cal caliber that I don't think people would normally be able to. In the beginning of September, the students come back to us and they're so excited, but they don't know what show they'll be working on or what positions within the shows they'll occupy. So they apply for those, and one might apply to be a wardrobe head, but again, not know if they'll be on the 1920s, the 1960s, or the 1980s show. It could be any of those. And I found out that I was being the TD. I immediately like refreshed on all of my AutoCAD skills and refreshed on my carpentry skills and like made sure that I knew what I was going to do before I could do it. No matter where you are in theater and no matter what crew you're on, somebody changes their mind and something has to change, right? And you have to be able to change with it. You can't say no. It's a lot like a roller coaster where things are going up and down. It all seems so fun when you're talking about it in class and you've got someone like me who's all over the place and it seems bubbly and exciting, but then when you're left with the paper and you have to cost it and you have to find out where you can go to start this, it's terrifying. And things really snowball here. Things start happening. Costumes start coming together. Palettes and actual things start evolving. Racks start filling and everything seems pretty great and then we actually have to do the show so everything turns again into a whole new energy because now instead of building, we're running! And it, it goes like that through the entire show. It's all ups and downs. This production is different because our first years came in and they're very excited to be working on what we're doing and everything so I, I, having people that are excited to be here and excited to be doing things is really nice. Not that we didn't have that last year, but I, I see it as me being in the position that I am, being more of a managerial position, it's, you see it more, I think. It's really helpful to see productions from students, like very student driven, because you don't know that you could do it until you see somebody of your caliber actually doing it. 